Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black and the Mortal Gods Amasu is working to execute their Zero Mortals plan. Basically, they want to annihilate all the mortals in existence. However, they have reached a stage where they do not even hesitate to kill even gods for the greater good. As Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 16 informs us that Black Goku killed the Kaioshins of all the universes, resulting in the death of all the gods of destruction. Only the Universe 7 Kaioshins were killed by Babidi and Dabra. Black and Zamasu are now seemingly unstoppable. Our heroes Goku, Vegeta and Future Trunks traveled into the future to put an end to Black Chaos. However, they got wrecked badly. Very badly. Goku Black stabbed and almost killed Vegeta with his Keyblade attack. Goku and Trunks also lost to him. On the other hand, Zamasu is just undefeatable. He took a sword stab and a final flash head on from Trunks without getting damaged. They are now seemingly unstoppable. Our heroes barely escaped from the future timeline. Now, in the original timeline, they're trying to figure out the mess with the help of Beerus, Whis, and Supreme Kai. We have information in hand that Zamasu will kill Gawasu. Then Beerus will destroy Zamasu. Also now we know that Zamasu probably started all this chaos with the help of Super Dragon Balls. Now Goku and company are strategizing as to what they should do next. It is very obvious there will be more encounters between them. Till now we didn't receive any hints regarding any new transformation for Goku, Vegeta or others from the good side of the game. However, it is very clear that trying again with the previous method won't make any difference. So they might need the help of gods, get stronger or find a way to kill a mortal. But the question is, will Black and Zamasu get more power-ups or new transformations? I mean, is Super Saiyan Rose the peak of power of Goku Black? Or did we see Zamasu in his full powered mode yet? Or were they just holding back? To be honest, Black or Zamasu was never pushed to their limit, so we can't for sure say that they use 100% of their power. If we look back, most villains in Dragon Ball Z like Frieza, Cell, Boo had multiple forms or transformations. They eventually powered up based on the requirement or when the Z fighters overpowered or matched one of their forms. So as this arc will progress, Black and Zamasu will eventually face harder opposition, maybe even including gods. And I believe they are saving something really special for such occasions. Also, Super Saiyan Rose transformation was good to watch, but wasn't really something too exceptional. It was basically a different colored version of Super Saiyan Blue. So I think there's one way they could become even more powerful and unstoppable. And it's kind of obvious at this point of time. Yes, I'm talking about fusion. In Dragon Ball Super episode 54, Gawasu basically teaches his mentally troubled student Zamasu everything he needs to know to cause chaos. He educates him about the time ring and Potara earring. There, he mentions that if they wear it on opposite ears, they can fuse and become a more powerful Kaioshin. In the future timeline, we see both Black and Zamasu are wearing the green Potara earring on their right ear. Clearly Black is the stronger one in them, but unlike Zamasu, he perhaps can be killed. So imagine a scenario like this. Black is on the verge of getting killed, right then Zamasu swiftly shifts the Potara earring and wear it on his other ear. As a result, they fuse. Black also becomes immortal and their wounds heal at the same time there is a significant upgrade of strength. Immortal God Zamasu is surely a pain in the ass, but without Black, the powerhouse of the squad, he would be quite useless. 
he could just be trapped or something similar to that. But with fusion, Black and Zamasu's power will be combined in the best possible way. Also, this might allow Black to attain another new transformation, something more like an ultimate god form since he is fused with the real body of a god. This could be the opportunity to give Black a white hair transformation which has been talked about a lot in this community. With them always wearing the Potara, it truly seems like a very obvious to do thing from their side and we don't exactly know who or what Black is, but they both have the same plan, so I think they would happily fuse. And if they do fuse, it could in turn inspire Goku and Vegeta to do the same. And maybe this is how we will get to see Super Saiyan Blue Gegeta or Vegito for the first time in Dragon Ball Super. What do you think about all this? Do you think Black and Zamasu will fuse? Why did you name the fusion? And how do you think it would look? Also just how strong do you think they will get? Comment your opinion down below and let me know what you think.